Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can clone MAC address on Unify Security Gateway. This is applicable if you have PPPoE connection from your internet service provider. So let's get started. First make sure that you are connected directly to your USG LAN 1 port. Then also make sure that you do not have the WAN connection connected to your USG as of now. Once this is done, make sure to adopt the USG in Unify controller. Once it is adopted, we will need to SSH into the USG to make some changes to the MAC address. So we will need to open the application which is Puri and then log in to your Unify security gateway using its IP which is 192.168.1.1. Click on open. You will get a prompt. You just need to click on yes and log in with the username and password. Once you are logged in, type in configure, hit enter, then type set space interfaces space ethernet. Space ETH0, which is the WAN interface of Unified Security Gateway. Then leave a space and type MAC MAC. Then leave a space again and type the MAC address of the current router which is connected to your internet service provider. In my case, I'm using D Link router, so I'm using the WAN interface MAC address of the D-Link router. I'll just copy that and paste it and then hit enter. Then type commit C-O-M-M-I-T. Now we will need to save these changes. So we need to type save It will save the configuration to config.boot then type exit. Now you can close out of SSH. Now we will need to create a file which is config.gateway.json so that the settings which we made on the USG remain and are not lost after the restart so I have already created the file I will upload this file and on Google Drive and leave a link in the description so that you all can download it easily once you open the file in the text format you need to make sure that you replace the MAC address with your current router MAC address once you replace it click on file then click on save. After that you will need to copy this file and place it in the default site folder. I have installed the Unify controller on Windows operating system so I will have to go to C drive user then my user profile ubiquity Unify folder data folder then site folder. In the site folder you will see the default folder which indicates that this is the default site of Unify controller. If you have created any other sites in your controller then you will see other folders representing the site of Unify controller. Once you are here you will need to double click on the respective site folder in my case I'm just using default site so I will double click on the default folder and now I will have to paste the JSON file into this folder and we need to make sure that we remove the dot text extension from this file so I will have to go to tools click on folder option click on view then I have to click on hide extension for known file types and 
hide protected operating system files then click on yes click on apply and then click on ok now we will remove the dot text extension from this file and then click on yes to make changes once this file is saved you can close out of the unify base folder then log in to your controller and reprovision the unify security gateway by making changes to any of the settings in the controller so in my case I will just trigger the provision by making some changes to the guest control once you apply the changes go to device tab just click on refresh and the USG will provision as you can see that the USG has provisioned and it is in connected status now you can connect your USG in place of your current router and connect the WAN connection that's it for now if you like my video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this thank you for watching